So I'm going to start with Android. How many of you guys use an Android phone? Okay. And how many iPhones? Any, nobody's on Windows? Okay, yay, because they were going to get left out. <laughs> I just uh, get whatever my husband hands me down. <laughs> so one of the things that that you'll discover is uh, one of the most important things about using your mobile is uh, that you can stay on the move. Uh, you obviously can't stay glued to a computer screen all day, or you could, but for many of you, your businesses would tank uh, because you have to do what it takes to make your company money keeping things going. So, um, living by mobile uh, is one of the ways to combat that. Uh, and there are several things that you can do with mobile that you actually can't do on the desktop uh, that are advantageous. Uh, so we're going to begin with Facebook. There it is. And so this will look a little bit uh, Slightly different in that we're in landscape mode. We'll jump out here, go to my news feed, and there we go. Okay. It's just a little bit slow internet line. Okay. New things there. Oh, technology for business, no way. And there's David. Okay. Good. Somebody's doing some social media over there. So you kind of get a feel for uh, the, the application, but I want to talk navigation. Uh, so uh, over on the right hand side, you'll see the little person top right. Uh, tap that, and that's all of the people uh, who are your contacts that. Uh, like on the desktop, it's the row of people over on the right that you can message and chat with. And that's going to take a little too long to load. I think you guys know what that looks like. Is that because they're on, currently online? Or they're yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to show you who's online. And that's a little bit deceptive because sometimes it'll give you the, depending on the device they're using, it'll give you the little phone symbol or sometimes it's not. So they may be on a device or they may be on a desktop. Or they may be like me and they walk away from their computer and they're over. You're, you're chatting with me, I'm not really there. But I'll pick it up here if that's the case. Um, so over on the left side is the primary navigation for Facebook. Uh, you'll see at the top, anything you want to search is right there. Type it in and search it. Um, I'm not sure how much graph search will change mobile Facebook. Uh, but it will change search. So the important thing will be that in the future, it's going to be very important, and I'm going to repeat this almost weekly, that you get recommendations on your Facebook page. Because in the future, when you do this search, it's not currently live on mobile, and only if you've opted into graph search at this point. Um, when I go to look at a computer uh, store, so I type uh, something in search here about a new laptop. Uh, it's going to say, do you want to know what your friend said about, and filling in the blank in the far, as far as other stores. Or let's say restaurant. That's probably more appropriate uh, because people do a lot of restaurant reviews. Uh, so you're saying, uh, I want Italian food. And so we're going to go uh, to search and we're going to say, uh, Italian restaurant, or right now, it's really not going to deliver. And how many people have it in Amazon? Okay, so I just put in Italian food. I, I've opted into it, and uh, so I early signed in. Uh, but you can sign up on the waiting list and get in a little bit earlier than everyone. But it's definitely coming. It will roll out completely this year. Graph search is a new way to search on Facebook. Uh, right now, Facebook search is really pretty lame. Although this is not too bad. Uh, it's better actually on a mobile device than it is on a desktop because it does apply GPS. Um, so you're going to see some restaurants and some big restaurant food change. And as we scroll on down, it'll get smaller and smaller and we'll find people 
who we might know. But in, in the future, that's going to be different, and it's going to deliver different. It's going to deliver um, uh, Italian food based on what your friends have said about it, or you can choose to. Uh, when you search in graph search, it pops up a big box on the screen, and it gives you six or eight different options on how you'd like to search, kind of like Google does. It says, I want to search for, do I want to search for this on the web? I want to search for this in pages. I want to search for this in what my friends have said about Italian restaurants. And that's the one that will really be the game changer because people trust what other people say. Is this going to allow people to, to do, like, get real true feedback, or is this something where people will be able to pay to sponsor? Like, <laughs> and this will be purely, purely what you guys have said about companies. So in recommendations, that's why as companies, it's going to be incredibly important that we get quality recommendations for our uh, products, our services, because that's going to begin to show up in graphs. Now would that just be somebody putting in their update and making sure they connect to your restaurant, or would that be actually writing in the recommendations? Actually section? in the recommendations section. They're going to say what you've said about, and it's basically then going to take from recommendations as to what others and your friends have said. Long term, uh, it will be a big piece of people finding. Google kind of already does that on Google Plus, and so you have two the two giants moving hard in that direction to where we want to know more about what our friends say uh, than we do about what a company says about it. So. Okay, so let's scroll uh, down the left-hand column. And now it's delivering all the people that I didn't want earlier. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down the left-hand column, and you'll see my business pages nearby. If I want to, if I want to check to see who or what is nearby, or I want to check in, uh, it delivers you immediately places that are nearby. So you say, I want to go eat. I want to go do something. Your nearby button will jump you there. What do we got? Uh, restaurants, the B line. It's not real nearby, but near-ish. Down on 4th, Mac, Mac Pies as well. A lot of 4th Avenue stuff. And it's going to be based on who in this local area has done a good job of putting the correct information into their Facebook page so that it does deliver on maps, uh, Facebook maps. And Facebook doesn't use Google Maps. They use... Yeah. So your Google Plates wouldn't apply to the Facebook. So how did you get to places nearby? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the menu, okay? Right. And towards the top, as you look on the left hand side, you'll scroll down, you see newsfeed, messages, events, okay. photos. I now I I these are your favorites. I've added two or three things to my favorites. Uh, and then as nearby. Okay? And then it'll jump down to the pages that you administrate. And then it'll jump to groups, and then it will go on down into, you can jump right to the Pages Manager if you've installed Pages Manager on your mobile device, which I would suggest that you do, because there's definitely some things that you can see there and do that you can't do from the normal app. Can you see that from this? you have to go to Google Play to do that? Uh, on Android, you would go to Google Play to get Pages Manager, and it's going to look just like that. It's going to have yes, it's going to have a little flag and a different identifier. Okay, so uh, again, I want to jump right to some of the more uh, cool things. So what I would like you guys to do. So are we on a page? Or Right now, I will. Uh, you want to be on your profile, and I want to. I want you to go to events, and we're all going to check into this event. Uh, you see here. Do you use your Android or iPhone for social media? Tap on that. Facebook app. Your regular. Just, yeah, you can just clear out, go back to your yeah. Facebook app. Yeah. So here you are at this event. Now what you can do is you can share a photo, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch the camera mode. And I'm going to take a 
taking pictures. Hey, you guys act like you're taking pictures of me or take pictures of me. There we go, fun. That's great. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over and I'm going to take that photo. And, and here's the key right here. So you're doing an event, you're doing a check-in, you're doing a something out. Mobile is the only place that I as a business at this point can tag you as people. I can't do this from the desktop. I can do it from the mobile files. On the desktop you can kind of, well, it just, it's a little inside sneak that not everybody can wear. Last week I was just like... Right, so I'm gonna go to, uh, to, to type mode and so I tap my little pencil mode, and I, what's on your mind? I can actually, right here at this point, tag any of you guys. So if you go to the event, how do you take a picture while you're still on that app? Well, uh, at the, it should be, Rebecca, at the top of the, uh, of the uh, event. There should be a button that says uh, write a poster or take a photo. Do you see that? No, I gotta go back. Okay. And uh, uh, mobile is not quite as friendly for for uh, uh, finding people. Check her in here. Uh, accidentally, uh, I have, I've done that several times. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna check everybody in. So you'll see that it allows me inside the event mode to go ahead and tag that person. You can, in several different circumstances, tag people, but only on the original post. Now what your mobile device will allow you to do, so I'm gonna create this post, and I'm gonna say done, and uh, I'm not even gonna say anything at this point, just for time's sake. Uh, so it, it updated a photo to this live event, and it allowed me to tag Susan, but it, I was tagging her as a person at this point. Uh, and we'll scroll down here to see that update. Yep, yep, and, it, and it's just not refreshed yet. So I'll pull it and let it, it, it's processing and uploading as we speak. So now let's see if it's there yet. Yep, so there we go, and you see Susan's there, and it's posted, and uh, no, that's one of you guys posting. Yeah, you beat me, you beat me too, it's Susan. Okay, and then here's mine going the other way. Okay, and if you'll notice, as you scroll up, I I, I post it as on my Bismarck's, not as my. Yeah, because I admin the page and I admin the I admin the event as well. You had it started our personal public. I know it shows that, but it doesn't deliver that way. It's a little tricky. If you administrate the site on the page. I had a Gmail snafu last week or yesterday, so it's not taking any of my Gmail. So the other thing that you'll notice is I can come in here and I can hit tag and I could I could tag anybody at this point, but it doesn't allow the tag. You could I could tag every one of you. But when I hit update and then go back to the desktop version of it, it won't show you any of those tags. Uh, how you have to do that is you go to the photo and you switch out of use Facebook as and you turn it into your name personally. So I'm no longer acting as the page. I'm switching over and I'm acting as Michael. And then I can come back because person to person I can tag you, but I can't tag you as my business. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a little quirky, and then sometimes even yet, it, it, it will uh, uh, allow you to even tag some other things. Uh, and you'll see all the posts that we're doing here and how much fun it is. Um, but it's a great way to get a lot of traction on an event. So say, Susan, you're doing a fun jewelry event. You can encourage everybody, hey, if you've got your smartphone, take it out. Uh, check in, take some photos, and check into the live event. As the event is live, you can always check in. And you can get a lot of interactivity going uh, within the event, having a fun time, taking photos, talking about one another, and that kind of thing. That'll actually create a little more environment and buzz to the event. It also then is, you're getting massive amounts of impressions because all of that content that they're sharing is actually showing up on their newsfeed. 
question, Mike. Yes. Uh, so I went to my camera on my phone. I took the picture. Yep. I put share with Pages Manager. Is that right? Um, I don't usually use Pages Manager because oh. it locks you out of connectivity to tag. When I'm doing this type of thing, I did it. Uh, I did it right from. So if you go to the regular Facebook app and you go right to the event, uh, when you post at that point, you're going to be sharing it to the event. Mike, I have a issue. Yesterday, I sat down and listened to the attorney general's office at my daughter's middle school. They were talking about tagging and, and checking in and all that stuff and how susceptible the children are mm -hmm. and how parents shouldn't be doing it. As a marketer, I'm like, tag the crap out of things and all this other stuff. Check in, please check in. Yep. And then the attorney general is coming around and saying, that's not safe. Well, they're stupid. So I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's not bad. Well, she, right. but she came up with some There's pretty a, good points. Right. Like, you check in and, and say, I wish a family yeah. at Applebee's that somebody yeah. knows that you're not at home. Yeah. So within the context of that, you have to make a decision ahead of time. Uh, and this, I, I say this to everyone. You have to decide uh, if you're going to live in marketer land or you're going to live in uh, safety and security. And you can. You absolutely have that choice. And I suggest everyone think that process through. Well, how do we how do we keep our customers in mind when we're doing that? And yeah. They can always go out and tag themselves. But yeah. There's so many unsavvy people out there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, in most of those cases, we're going to have a conversation about it in the context of that. I would, I Say hey, you know, have fun, tag one another, but know that people will realize that you're not at home. Uh, and so, if that's a problem for you, then by all means, don't do that. Uh, and I would honor anybody's wishes who said, please don't tag me. The key is I also teach as much as possible in the personal settings. That uh, probably the best case for most people, if you have that concern at all, is to turn on the tagging notification. So you have to approve it, and that way nothing slips by. Eh, the kids are there. I don't want anybody seeing that. Because in some cases, people use their kids tremendously successfully to market their companies. Other people don't want anybody knowing their kids exist. And that's, that's awesome that you have that choice. But I think everyone should think it through. And the Attorney General is right. When it comes to the context of your kids, you definitely want to think in terms of is this safe? Is this something that may, you know, potentially allow somebody to know that my kids are home with a babysitter or something like that? I would be very cautious there. All my kids are old, so I'm like, hey, you can go there. But... <laughs> yes. So I, I know it's on my phone, and I can't change my voice. Yeah. Um, so I'm just wondering, like, you cannot on your phone. On your mobile devices, it's locked. So there's not phone. a way yet to change your voice, let's say that. But I guess I could, and it I guess won't. I could post from my business page something and then go point it and share it on my personal page. You can do that, and even on your business page, you can switch your voice into Susan, and then you can actually go tag that photo. You can tag other people, but it has to be as Susan, and they have to have allowed tag. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just you yeah, overtly tag from a business page. They're trying, you know. And I respect why Facebook did that because people were so spammy. I don't ever do it, do it in a spammy context. If you're not in the conversation, uh, or in the room, or somebody that I want to, hey, we did something fun, and I want to tell you know Sister Barbara about that kind of a thing. That would be the only way that I would tag her if she wasn't involved in, in the thing. I wanted to know what happened, or you know, maybe somebody was there that she should have seen, or something like that. Otherwise, it, uh, it, it's spam to tag outside of that. Just randomly tag a bunch of people, um, and people look at that and they kind of people ask me that question all the time. It's probably one of the most people tag me, and I'm not even I have no idea what the context of it was, and I wasn't there. And, and, they're just trying to get a lot of interactivity around that post, and that's okay, but it's really not ideal in the way of uh, creating uh, organic and true content. Okay, uh, let's go back to, and I did that wrong, I need to go back to a newsfeed. 
And let's cover uh, posting. Just let's say we're just going to do a photo now. So there's a nice shot of Phil. Well done, Dale. Yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. He's just looking at the same photo. <laughs> Sweet. So I'm going to do photo here, yeah, and uh, I'm just going to grab uh, one, and uh, we're going to act as if I'm going to post with this one. And, uh, okay. A couple of things here on Android. Uh, I, I, obviously, I can tag, I can add and tag people, uh, just start typing their name or scroll through. I can say something about the post. I can check in, and again, I'm not at this event at this point. I'm just in newsfeed sharing a photo. I can check into location or event. Um, and uh, the other options are, I've already grabbed a photo. But you have one more option here on Android, and that is now you can upload your photos and add it to, it's been that way for a while, but not a lot of people utilize it, that you can put it in your different albums. So it used to always only default to mobile uploads as the default. Uh, now you can choose, no, I want that to be in a different uh, catalog of photos. That's just a droid thing. Uh, that is just a droid thing. Point. Typically, it's kind of it goes back and forth. And, you know, they'll they'll do one thing on Droid and then they'll add it to iPhone or vice versa. You know, one of them will get it and then they'll upgrade to the other, unless it's device prohibitive and occasionally you'll run into those things. Any other questions on this process? You can also always change the voice. I mean, of who it goes to. Over on the bottom right, any post you can choose that it would only go to uh, friends uh, only. Uh, I ran into a, 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 an older client that I'd worked with for a while and she was just, she said, you won't believe what happened to me. And this is a cautionary. <laughs> uh, she said, I changed who my post was going to and somehow I accidentally left it on only me. And she had been posting for a month and a half. <laughs> Only me. So nobody was seeing anything. Oh and nobody's hearing and it's like you're like, well, did everybody cancel me off the feed? <laughs> Everybody's unfriended me or hit me or blocked me and you're like finally realize, oh yeah, I'm posting two. And and I've I've had others that I'll I'll say, Do you realize you're only posting to people in Wyoming? <laughs> you have a Wyoming group and you're only No, I didn't realize that. Okay, just FYI. Uh it's a great tool, but the it always defaults to wherever you left it. So you always got to go back and say, no, I want to move back to public on this. This is for my own, only my uh, FYI, uh, for your eyes only, crazy party friends. Or, no, this is for work only kind of a thing. That's a great tool, but always switch back to what you would like the default to be. I would love it to have a default, but again, it's a cautionary thing with Facebook. They think if you've decided that I want to be a little more secure in who I let see my content, that it's going to stay that way until you change it back. Okay, I'm not going to post that photo twice. Yes? So I can't, I can't make that selection after I've posted it. Like I've already posted. I can't go back and change who it gives it. No. No, that has to be done prior to. Okay. Back out of photos. Okay, we, we, we didn't go directly into check-in, but again, so there's eight ways to do any one thing. And this is another way you can go right to check-in and then go to campuses or whatever it is, a restaurant that, that you're at, or again, an event. So you can go right to the event and check-in. You can go to check-in and then find the event. Um, or you can go to, as I said, go to nearby, uh, that, that's in the menu. And all three of those ways will do the same thing and it will deliver whatever you're closest to and typically, well, places nearby are just like, doesn't deliver events. Uh, it's going to have all of the other places. Okay, let me think. Uh, I want to jump to Google Plus quickly and I'll just very briefly uh, jump across it. My device is running a little bit slow uh, due to being connected to the screen. 
Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn. I would say out of all the mobile apps, I would say LinkedIn's probably the one I'm most disappointed in. Really has very minimal uh, features and usability. It's very limited. Uh, so I don't use it. And you're like, oh good, I want to go see that. Yeah, not, no, it's really not great. Um, so a lot of things here. Uh, one of the key things is there's a similar feature when you go to uh, events. I can go to uh, the events, okay, and I can go to our live event. And typically, you'll see if it'll do it. If they just updated the app, and I'm not sure if this feature, here it is right here. So you can turn on party mode, and it gives you a little warning. It says, all new photos and videos in your camera roll. So everything after I choose this that's going on during the live event is going to auto-load to the live event. So you want to make sure to turn it off later. Uh, so yes, either turn it off later, either turn it off later, at or, some point, or the end of event does auto turn it off. So how'd you, how'd you get to the event? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, new navigation on Android. If you update it, is when you go to the top left, it's a menu, not unlike Facebook. <laughs> it's very similar to Facebook. Uh, so you've got that menu on the left-hand side that you scroll up and down to get, and then go to events, and it just took me right to the line. Okay, so again, uh, here, here's everything else, events that I might be going to soon, or I have gone to soon, uh, but I'm going to go back to home. Okay. So this, again, is just like, uh, I forgot, since I'm in... When you switch to this mode, I uh, can't remember, I'm scrolling up or down, yeah. On iPad, it's left and right. Um, on uh, smaller devices, it's up and down. Okay. Yes? So on my screen, if I have a Google Plus icon, then. You may not have added the app yet. So you'll need to add the app. It allows you to do a limited functionality of Google Plus. You can't access, say if you administrate four or five pages, you can't jump around like you can on the desktop. But you can sign out and sign in as other accounts if you have them that way. So actually I'm gonna do a photo right quick since I have party mode on. If you see, and you can barely see it, in the top left corner there, the little green camera is telling me that my party mode is on. Party mode. So uh, we're going to grab a, I'll just use this photo to save time since we already did it. And it looks like a, a telephone party is happening there anyway. And then I'm going to hit the share. Who do I want to share it to? Uh, caution you on this. Uh, I, would, I would suggest to default to public. Uh, because in many cases, you're going to overwhelm uh, people with notifications if you're sending it to a lot of individuals. It's going to send them an email. That can become a little bit annoying. A lot annoying. Uh, uh, I don't go extended circles uh, unless I'm going to do something huge. But if I add it to my circles, it's going to shoot out a notification to all of those folks. I don't want to necessarily do that. Okay. So I've chosen public, and I'm going to hit OK, and I'm not going to say anything at this point. I'm just going to push it out and say share. You can tag. I could say, you know, pl instead of at, you do plus, and then start typing the names. If they're in your circles, you've already added those folks, then they'll be uh, added to you. So now that photo went out to my, to my feed, as well as to the event. Notifications are top right now, and it pops over just like this, and it says, uh, and there's the event, of course, it says, uh, did I go? Yeah. No, this is still, it hasn't switched to, did you attend? Because you can say yes after that. I can add a comment, but I'm not. For time to say. Uh, Everything on the left-hand side. 
you can also start your hangout from here. So I could choose somebody and I could do a hangout from my mobile device if you have enough uh, bandwidth. Uh, if you've got enough internet speed, sometimes if you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of connectivity and you're dropping back into 3G, it'll be pretty sketchy whether you're going to be able to do a hangout. They're not uh, spectacular. Any other mobile platforms that you guys want to touch on from the Android device before I switch over to iPhone? iPhone yo. I'll do it from iPad, so, same thing. Yes? Sir. I'll ask this question because other people might be interested. When I'm at the social media conference in San Diego, uh -huh. I'm going to be talking to meet people and asking them to go to my tip of that social media. Yep. And I want to video it with my phone. Yep. I think I'm going to have a little plug in mic. Okay. Because if they're that far away, we already experimented, it doesn't sound. Like yeah, you're going to need the little bottle there. Okay. Yep. And then is it better to put it on a Facebook event or a Google Plus event? And all the people there really seem to be in the, the people, the types of people that are going there are Google Plus types. Tech names are very Google Plus, yeah. they're ahead of the game. Um, I would say, uh, for me, uh, for something of that scale, uh, I would do both. Uh, oh, okay. and, and so, the, what I'm saying in that is, you don't have to load both of them right now. You can always go back and load it later. Uh, and you may need to do to save your battery. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't upload from the event. Okay. I would go back, you know, get back to your hotel room because you may kill a battery uploading video instead of just capturing three or four. Uh, so capture three or four, go back to the room, plug into your computer or then plug your phone in and then upload and then you can do a lot. I upload all of mine automatically to Dropbox. So my photos and videos auto load to Dropbox whenever I shoot. Them. That way when I get back to wherever I'm going, I sit down at my computer, now I can push it out to Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter and anywhere else that I want to push that content out to. Gives you a little more diversity and flexibility, and it's kind of working in the background so you don't have to worry about it. Yes, ma'am. Is it easy to upload those to Dropbox? Is there a tutorial to Dropbox that shows me how to do that? Yes. Uh, if you go to your settings on your iPhone or Android app, and I can actually, I'll try it on the, uh, I don't know if I've done it on this iPad in the settings. Uh, it'll, it'll give you the option of actively syncing uh, your photos on that device to your uh, Dropbox file. Well, and what about Drive? Putting it on Drive. You could, you could do that too. I don't know if Drive gives you the ability, I haven't done it on Drive yet, to where it auto syncs. Uh, mine auto sync, that way I have a backup archive of everything I shoot. Uh, if I needed to, once I verify that that backup's been done, I could uh, clean my hard drive off my phone and create more space if I ran, was running out of space. Yeah, Dropbox saved Apple when they cleared my phone and cleared all my 1500 photos. Yeah, iCloud didn't work. Yeah, I, uh, I absolutely uh, have had similar uh, conversations with folks where they've lost iCloud or other, you know, that was supposed to be there and then it wasn't there. I like to have a redundancy, you know, six layers deep so that I don't ever lose all my valuable stuff. Uh, so uh, Dropbox, uh, just very quickly, and I think I am mistaken in that I do have it set up here on my photos. It does auto load. I do have my uh, device set up to auto load all of my mobile apps. Mm -hmm. So as I take photos, uh, it's going to load them to my Dropbox as we progress and do stuff. I have a lot of photo apps because I like to take photos with my iPad. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I'm going to have to shoot you guys this time. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, now, iOS a little bit different in that 
I'm going to jump over to, and typically I do most of my sharing right from the photo app. So I'm going to go right here, and I've got this photo, and I'm going to begin the share process right from the app. Now, you don't have to do that. You have other options. We can also do it from within the Facebook app, but you can start here. So you can see I've got copy, uh, wallpaper print, uh, assigned a contact, Facebook mail, message, and or Twitter. And those are the basic ones that will be typically already set up on your device when you get it your, on your iPhone or your Android, iPhone or uh, iPad or, uh, let's see, iPad, iPhone, and iPod. Uh, iPod Touch would have all of these features. Uh, so I'm also going to then jump out and we'll go over to the Facebook app and we'll walk through some of the same processes. Uh, so again, same thing, menus on the left-hand side, uh, new speed, a little bit different order, but still basically somewhat the same. Uh, so uh, nearby is just up top instead of at the bottom on these pages, just below that, groups, apps, friends, interest, and then you have a few more tools on, uh, on, on a, oh, that's new, I don't remember the report of block problem button. <laughs> Woo. Report a problem. I don't like this. Uh, account settings. Uh, you can do a lot on. Uh, yeah. You can do a lot on Facebook for iOS that you can't do on Android when it comes to some of your settings. You have a few more settings control closer to what you have on desktop, but you have a few limitations in some uh, tagging features and those. Uh, so we're going to jump over to events and we're going to again go to uh, this event because it's going live right now and we're going to scroll down and I'm going to share a photo and choose from library because it's already there somewhere. The other end of it. Yeah. Okay. Tap to tag, so I'm, I'm going to, I, Dale was there, and uh, so again, I'm already posting this to the live event, so I don't necessarily need to go ahead and choose where was this photo taken, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm already in the event, it's going to post it to the event, but it's also going to say the event in the post, since I had it. Okay, uh, and uh, again, I'm just going to say nothing to save typing time, and eventually that will be uploaded and it will be live there in the event. Yay, that's fun. Uh, hey, look, I'm sideways. <laughs> Your video is sideways. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Video, you always have to shoot landscape because uh, it will auto default to that. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. So, it, if I turn it, it's good. Let's see. So there we are. Cool. That looks like good students. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> When's lunchtime? <It's> lunch. <laughs> not snoring yet. That's a that's a huge bonus. And we can text it. Absolutely. You can text. You can tweet. You can check in. Um, so I'm just going to go to the news feed and we'll do the same kind of thing. I want to do a photo. Again, the layout is different uh, for your iPhoners. Uh, you can take a video or a photo or choose from the library. I'm going to grab that same photo. And I'm going to say. I got all my gins but the right one. <laughs> Two wins? Okay, there we go. There we go. So now, and just for quickly, and then I'm going to, where am I? Again, I'm at this event, and so there's going to be a ton of redundancy on my wall, and everyone's like, dude, you're going to crack. You posted everything <laughs> twice. What's up? Okay, so there we go. Photo status, status, same kind of thing. I mean, photo and status, it's the same exact thing. It, you're just going to start differently. It's going to prompt you here. If, once you started a status, 
You decided, hey, I want to take a photo. Guess what? There you go. Same thing. All right. So comfortable there? Any questions on just the simplicity of posting, tagging, checking into events? Uh, let's see. Events, pages. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's jump over to a referral tree. Uh, and it almost always will prompt you at the top. Now it's added the ability to just one tap and jump to the pages app. What I don't love about it is it doesn't jump to the one you were on. I, I wish they would fix that. It jumps to wh wherever you were at last when you were on the pages app. I would like to, if I'm on our page, to jump to that page instead of having to look at it. Okay, here's all these pages and here's on my Bismart and uh, all of you guys uh, checking in and taking photos. Uh, Karen, no, this is just stuff. There's Chris. Loading very slow. Very, very slow. It may get there eventually, so we're not going to hold our breath. We'll move on. Uh, again, once you move over to the Facebook uh, manage, uh, Pages Manager app, uh, you lose your voice as a person. You are posting as the page. Exclusive. Okay, let's jump out of that uh, and look at some of our other social media. Um, where should we go? Twitter, Google Plus. We have some notifications there. Although I find that uh, the notifications on Google Plus are a little slow to populate, so they're oftentimes erroneous. Uh, right now, I'm in a uh, hang out on your phone uh, from an iOS device. Okay, hang out. And I could say I'm going to hang out with Phil and start hang out. It's going to make a lot of it's going to make a lot of uh, noise on his device if he has <laughs> silence to. <laughs> and, and then we would talk. The other, one of the things, again, I love on both devices, it gives you the ability to switch cameras. Oh, wow. So I can be on the other camera. And uh, so I can go front camera and back camera. It's going to default to what it thinks you would be in facing. Or I could say, oh, I want to share the group with everybody. And I'll put you all out on our hangout like this. Yes, always. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go back here and go back home. Uh, check in, link, write. Uh, it's fairly easy to navigate. Same kind of thing once you start to write a post. Uh, you can utilize your camera, go to your photo roll, or add a link to that post. I think it's a little bit better in how it delivers your content. Uh, Whereas posting from an iPad or iPhone, sometimes it's not at, it doesn't deliver the content with as rich an image and some of the other pieces as you would like. Uh, I think Google Plus is slightly better in that area. I can also again go location, check in, unable to determine your location because I'm on Wi-Fi probably. So we might okay. Thank goodness, uh, diversity of Google Plus. I don't have any embarrassing photos popping up. <laughs> I was doing a demo the other day, and uh, like, whoa, hang on, scroll, scroll, scroll. Yeah. That was a church, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, find people, so circles, uh, same as on desktop. And again, I'm, I know I'm moving quickly, but I want to cover all the basic navigations of peoples. Peoples. Circles. Here's my circles. And then people in one circle. Okay. Let's talk. You know what I didn't do on the on the uh, uh, on the uh, Android is do you guys need any basic iOS navigation tips and tools? You know, how to add and remove apps, how to move apps, where to find apps. You guys are pros. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Just making <laughs> sure. 
Oh, we're, we're done. I don't want to explain my ignorance, so <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to do the Dropbox and then it automatically goes to Dropbox. Oh, well, let, one, one last thing. Oh, yeah, Let's right. go back to Dropbox, and I'm going to here, and, uh, and I'm going to go to settings. Uh, so in uh, settings, it's uh, camera upload on or camera upload off, and I'm going to switch over to Android. Uh, to show you what it looks like there. That's on your Dropbox? Yep. So you went straight to Dropbox? Yeah, I just went right to Dropbox, went to settings uh, for iOS, and then it's just a on or off. Uh, it's already a feature that's built in. It's getting there. You can do it. All right. <laughs> okay. And uh, we're going to go to Dropy Boxy. Android, as in most, all the apps have the little three little buttons. Uh, look here, new folder. Actually, this one you go here. Settings. Yep. So, passcode lock, unlink, turn off camera upload. So, there would be off, and there is on. Oops. And then it's going to bring you to the option. Do you want to do it on Wi-Fi and data, or on data only? And I, I don't use that much data, so I turn it on. So that's a consideration. If you have a limited data plan, you may definitely want to make sure that you have it upload on Wi-Fi only. I don't remember having an option on Apple. Cries. Um, it cries when it goes into Wi-Fi, and it won't upload. So a lot of it defaults to no. It almost always defaults to no unless you tell it yes, like I just did, because it does a few things. One, it'll run your battery down. Uh, two, it, it, they're very wary of people who have data plans so that nobody's crying. Kill me on my data plan. Other questions? Yes. That's great. So if I, if I just go in now and tell it to be dead tonight, it's sent to iCloud, which means I need to get Dropbox. Yeah, so install the app, and then if you'll go into the settings, it'll give you the option of uploading on Wi-Fi, and that way, if you're on it or when you get home, it'll go ahead and just shoot those images, and I just use that as a, a one layer of redundancy, so I know they're, they're on my hard drive of my computer and the cloud, okay. yeah. and it also gives me the, the ability to quickly, because I know it actually does it pretty quick, I can actually go sit down at my laptop and I can share that photo out now to three, four different platforms where it's, I can do it from my mobile device, but it's kind of slow and a little bit clunky. When I sit down at a laptop, I can do it quick and then I can walk away. And I can be a little more creative on desktop usually. Usually. Can even edit a little bit before yep. you send it out. Yep. I'll tweak my photos a little bit. All right, guys, I know that's brief, that's but. Great. Yeah, yes. I want to thank Mark again because, awesome. um, as she was saying, her customers are 50 employees and up, so she really did a big favor by, by talking with us. I appreciate that. On Thanks. Monday, Women Impact in Tucson luncheon. Do you want to say, do you know who the speaker is? And I don't know. It's the, uh, most of us the go gal that. from Rural Care. 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 <laughs> I like Rural Care. And then if you want to come back at 3, uh, Phil will be here. And you can just sit out in these beautiful little, little points. I have to do hangouts. I know you're going. So. Be, I'll be here, but I'll be sitting out there doing hangouts. Oh, yeah. Get the index. Yeah, you guys can sure do that. Because I really appreciated Marty, you doing that for us. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun walking through that and uh, helping clarify. It is. It's so, a fascinating yeah. subject. Does it give you the um, right. link to go to, or how do you? No, she. They can scan it to me.
Oh, okay. See, I can send. I can send it all the world. Uh, the uh, network basically started to collapse at about twelve forty-four. You can make copies of it. And it came. It was fluctuating the whole time. That's what it looks like in hard copies. When she was speaking the whole time, it was good. Okay. The network yeah. was, but it's dipping out on it. At twelve forty-four, it started to dip. Well, and and again, we know we're going to be limited by uh, how many classes are live. Right. Forty. <laughs> You'd think it would be a little thin today, but I don't know what the deal was. So. And it turned on, so it's good.